Hi, my name is Brene. My name is Abby. We are members of Five Dinners in One Hour, and tonight Abby's going to be prepping some dinners with you. Three dinners. So the service level three. And we use this meal prep system every week to prep our meals ahead. You spend one hour prepping your dinners. They store in your fridge for the next five days. You pull them out. They're ready to go. All you have to do is cook them. I love cook night. It's my favorite part of the program. You get to go to the website, tap on the dinners that you want to prep ahead. You can prep as many or as few dinners as you want to. Abby likes to pick three. I like to pick five. It's going to generate your customized grocery list off the recipes you picked. Oh my goodness. I think we got to hold that one. Off the recipes you picked and their serving size. So no wasted groceries. Shop your pantry, freezer, and refrigerator. Hop over to your online shopping or get in and out of the store super fast. I can go to the website, tap on the dinners I want to prep ahead, change the serving size, shop my pantry, freezer, and refrigerator in about 15 minutes. So it's, it's super easy tonight. For dinner, we had the slow cooker fall French toast um, at a serving size of 16. Serving size of 6! Oh my word! Do you get something over here on the counter? I'm going to get... Spice you up. For 16, I tried to wipe down it. $16. Yeah, but it is for, for milk French toast. So you guys, tell us what you had for dinner tonight. And tell us how many people that um, you serve for dinner every night. We had French toast. Fall French toast. It was toast. slow cooked fall French toast. Get it, yeah. Mmm, 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 mmm. <laughs> and uh, we, uh, I serve six people usually. Six I serve nine. three. When I do a service as a six, it's usually oh. for like a gathering or... Let me pull you guys up over here so I can see. Yeah, I was going to and then you were kept going. I know. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Okay, so first one that I am prepping is slow cooker ricotta meatball pasta. <laughs> Echo. There we go. Um, this one cost was my most at $13 for a serving size of three. But it got a lot in it, and it's being served with garlic bread, and really the meatballs is what. I think that's fantastic. It. If um, I take our family out to eat, to a and that was for a price of um, double the meatballs that what I needed. Oh, was it? Because I had to buy a, a that size bag, so. Ugh. We spend about ten dollars a person when we go out to eat. So I think thirteen dollars for a serving size of three is yeah. awesome. I know, and it's it. I mean, I like me some spaghetti and meatballs. And this is just special spaghetti and meatballs. So all right, let's see if there's any comments that I can answer. All right, hi Betty Lou. Slow cooker zesty zesty short ribs with baked potatoes and green beans. Serving size of three with leftovers. That sounds super yummy. Let's put some water in here. Des says, on again tonight. Yes, we prepped my dinners last night. Abby's prepping her dinners this tonight. Watching from Canada. Thanks for joining us. I want to go to Canada so bad. Mr. Burger Box. Hello from Alabama. Can we get it here in Canada? Yes, you can. All you do is tap on the bio or you can go to 5 dinners one Sign up. Whatever you sign up with, that's the same thing that you get into the website. You are going to be able to pick your that's dinners. That's jar. Okay. Don't throw that jar away. All right. <laughs> um, you get 60 dinner recipes at all times, 20 new ones the last day of the month. You can prep as many or as few meals as you want to at one time, and you have unlimited access to the website. Simply tap on the dinners that you want to prep ahead change the serving size to what you need for your family, it will automatically change the ingredient amount for you. It's gonna tell you how to prep it and store it over here. The ingredients are listed in the middle and then cook day over here with the cook day instructions, titles above, and every dinner has the sides. Depends on how simple it is, if it's gonna have you prep it ahead or just have you do it on cook day. Like if it's a steamed veggie or salad, they're definitely just gonna have you do that on cook day. But um, potatoes, um, Asparagus, Brussels sprouts, carrots, they're going to have you prep ahead. You don't have to figure that out. They do all that for you. They're also going to give you your customized grocery list off the recipes you picked and the serving size you picked. 
Abigail's trying to see that. So this grocery list is worth the $2 a week alone. Totally worth it. You never have to write down again. You never have to figure out how much you're going to need of potatoes or meat or um, chicken. It's going to get all that on here for you. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to show you that real close. Can you guys see that? Totally lists out everything for you and tells you exactly how much. It lists the recipes up top and then it has A, B, C, D on each ingredient in case you want to step it out. You can totally figure out what recipe it is real quick without having to go through too much. Can you switch this? I can. Okay. All right, this one sounds delicious. Definitely going on my menu next week. Nice. Christy said that. We have the Chipotle Ranch Burgers for a serving size of four. We love oh. the Chipotle Ranch Burgers. Those are delicious. I made the garlic uh, tortellini last night. So good. Left out the shrimp, and I don't like seafood. As I don't like seafood. That's perfectly fine, and it's awesome without the shrimp. Uh, we've had that several, several times, times without the shrimp. Because yeah. sometimes you just want to change up a little bit. Yeah, or you just want to like a cheaper meal, so you leave out that. Uh, to, that one's totally fine to leave out the protein, so you can have a cheaper meal. Hi, Jennifer. Hello. Um, let's see, Abby. How's the little princess? I bet she's getting big. She is. What the outfit I put on her the other day was actually like a 2T outfit, and I mean, it was still kind of big on her, but she wasn't floating in it. No, she wasn't. And she usually floats in those, so I was like, oh. uh, what are What are you prepping right now? This is the slow cooker ricotta meatball pasta. This sounds delicious. Let's see. Red beans and rice. Hi, Janice. I do a serving size of three, too. So, um... One bag of meatballs will give us two meals yeah. to Abby. Yeah, yeah, that's for Abby, too. Just got on. How does this work? I kind of wish they sold them in smaller quantities, but I understand why they don't. <laughs> that is a great question. So, someone asked how this works. It is super simple. If you wanted to prep your dinners tonight, you actually could. Um, there is a link in the bio. It's 5dinnersinonehour.com. You can go to the website or you can hit that link. You're going to get instant access to at least 60 dinner recipes. You simply tap on the ones that you want to prep ahead. You can prep as many or as few as you want to. I like to prep five meals at a time. Abby likes to prep three. Three at a time. So you do you. You simply tap on your dinners you want to prep ahead. You can toggle the serving size up or down, which you're gonna you're gonna want to do because uh, it's gonna save you time. It's gonna save you money at the end of the week. This program is all about getting all your prep done in less than one hour. And throughout the week, you simply come home, pull out your ready-to-go dinner, and cook it. That's it. You're only in the kitchen on minutes, four minutes, on cook night, which is my favorite. I'm going to be doing a live cook tonight. Not tonight, guys. This week. So make sure that you are following and you turn on the notifications so you can see other members. And they will share preps on here. They will share cooks on here. Tips and tricks. So um, we will be doing a cook this week. So if you want to join me for a cook, go ahead and follow. But after you set your serving size, it's going to automatically adjust the ingredients. Over here, it tells you how to prep it, how to store it. Over here, it tells you how to cook it. Every dinner is going to have the title and the sides right underneath it. The sides are included on every dinner. It depends on if they're going to be on the prep side or the, the cook day side. Yeah. Um, if they are the prep side, they'll have you prep them, cook day, you'll just um, they do the simple ones like salad, steamed veggies that you can pop in your microwave will be on cook day, but all the rest of them will be on mm. prep day, and you don't have to worry about that. They figure that all out for you. This company has been around for 13 years. They know exactly what they're doing on how to prep it, how to store it, and how to cook it. Totally mom approved, family approved, and when you hit the link, you're going to have three different choices. There's a classic, a clean eating, and a family combo. The family combo is the most popular, and that's what we have. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you what's in the classic. It is more comfort food. Definitely for picky eaters, you could work with that. Mm -hmm. And maybe if you go out a couple times a week, you might want to try out the classic because it might be more of your taste buds. And then the, the second option is called clean eating. It is low carb, lots of veggies, but don't worry. You will get plenty of veggies yes. on the classic. It has. I am a very picky eater, and I have the combo and pull from both. Yep. So, and then the third one is the family combo. You're gonna have the classic 
meal plan, the clean eating meal plan, and the family combo. You also get 170 cold lunches and they actually throw in extra dinner recipes. So if you grab that combo, they really pack that one full. You get the most for your buck there. You can get the classic or clean eating on sale with the code $26 for your first three months. It's about $2 a week. Um, if you grab the family combo, it's gonna be just a little bit more. The code still works on that at $45. And um, that one, you really get a ton of recipes. Mm -hmm. All the meal plans, you get uh, new recipes the last day of the month. And I love that feature. So you get to pick your dinners, you get to pick your serving size. It's gonna give you your customized grocery list, which Lisa got a hold of. Shop your pantry, freezer, and refrigerator, hop over to your online shopping, or get in and out of the store super fast because they do categorize it for you. But I love this system. We've been using it for five years. It's cut my grocery bill in half. My time in the kitchen dramatically. I spend one hour prepping, and the rest of the week, I'm just in here for minutes. Mm -hmm. So it's all about saving you time, saving you money, and getting you in and out of the kitchen quick. Go ahead, Abedab. So meal number one is a slow cooker ricotta meatball pasta. It costs $13. And on cook day, we're going to need the meatballs, the spaghetti. We're serving this with some broccoli and some garlic bread. And uh, obviously, it's a slow cooker, so it's a sit and forget. And these ones are kind of like... My go-to's. Yes. These and skillets. I don't know why, because they're very opposite. Skillets, I, I feel like you can have skillets on the table in like 15 minutes or less. Yes, but like cook-wise, they're yeah. very polar opposites, yeah. but I really, slow cooker, those are my two favorite. Yeah, and then slow cooker, you can come home and you can plate it in five minutes. So they're pretty, I feel like they're both like time-wise awesome. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's see. Marilyn, hi from Texas. that right there. I'll Josie said they had the baked, um, Parmesan meatballs tonight. Every plate was lit clean. We love that one. That one is such a go-to. And um, there is a great thing. On each recipe, they're going to have a little heart. It's like an outline green heart. You can tap it, and it's going to flip it to your favorites right there on the website. So if you find recipes that your family loves, and we love that big Parmesan meatball, go ahead and tap those hearts on those recipes. I that all the time. I know. It flips it over to your favorites right there on the website. You can have as many favorites as you want to. And even when they pull that recipe from the website, you will still have it in your favorites as long as you're a member. Mm -hmm. I've been a member for five years, so my favorites are pretty healthy, like as in, they're there. <laughs> and I love pulling those from... Um, and a lot of times, because we have like a family computer, mm -hmm. a lot of times we'll like sniff on there and be like, this needs to go on to favorites. Mm -hmm. Even if it was like, like Logan is obsessed with rice bowls. Yes. He definitely favorites all the rice bowls. But, they're um, not a huge. They're, so, sometimes it's hard when you have guests because you don't know exactly what they want. But man, if you put a rice bowl in front of Logan, oh, yeah. he will demolish it's it. Gone. So he doesn't the, care what's in it as long as it's a rice bowl. But so those are all of our favorites. Yes, they have meals across the board. So Abby was talking about rolls, rice bowls. They like um, a salmon rice bowl. There's a fish taco rice bowl, chicken rice bowl. But they have meals across the board. So yes. there is like burgers. There's meatballs. I love the little mini meat meatloaves. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, chili cheese. Yeah, um, there's chilies. There's, there's soups. There's the pepperoni pizza lasagna. Yeah. Like, there's just... The variety is fantastic. So, if you want to get out of that rut of having the same thing over and over, this is really going to help you get mm -hmm. outside that box. And you're still going to get delicious dinners on the table every night because the variety is fantastic and the food is delicious because they know exactly what they're doing. It's not like when you go to Pinterest and Google... And you sit down there and you get sucked in for an hour and you're like, I wonder if these dinners it's are going to be good. It's okay to admit that we've all fell victim to 45 minutes at Pinterest to the black hole of recipes. <laughs> right? <laughs> these recipes, every time, good. Every, you don't have to worry about that. The serving sizes are perfect for my mm -hmm. family. So they're right on. If you want to have leftovers, just bump your serving sizes up. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, just keep them right at it. Yeah. So our next one is slow-cooked barbecue pork tenderloin. Pork tenderloin is probably like, the t I would say chicken and pork are our top meats that we like to have in my house. Would you say that's? Yeah, say that's you right. like pork tenderloins a lot. Someone well, asked, is it possible to toggle to a serving size of eight? Yes. You can do a serving size of one all the way up into the hundreds. Nine hundred ninety nine. Yeah, nine hundred ninety nine. But I like to do six or nine. The measurements are less are, are not wonky in sets of three. Because it's 
all based on a serving size of six. So mm -hmm. if you were doing your serving size of eight, I would probably just go ahead and bump it up to nine. So all your stuff is like even numbers. It's not going to be like seven eighths of. I would do a serving size of nine and just do the proteins for eight. Yeah, because yeah, some of y'all are going to go back for seconds. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Um, I'll tell you right Jennifer now. said she had the garlic parmesan chicken stew from the Cracktober. It was fantastic. Girl, you know everybody's digging into that Cracktober too, right? Mm -hmm. You guys know it is October, which means Cracktober. Ooh, you guys tell us what how you like to cook. Um, I like to um, put mine underneath the broiler, and I can have dinner on the table from fridge to table in like 10 minutes. I also love the um, mills that all go onto a sheet pan. There's called sheet pan mills. Everything like the pork tenderloin, the potatoes and carrots, everything mm -hmm. goes onto the pork, goes onto the sheet pan. You pop it in the oven, you walk away, come back and plate your. So, sheet pan and under the broiler are my favorites. What are your favorites, Abby? Slow cooker and skillet. So, you like the crack? I do like crack. Slow cooker and skillet. But you guys, they have cooking methods across the board. So once again, you will not get bored of cooking. This is unlike meal prep systems out there. You're not cooking all your food in one day. You're not spending all day Saturday or all day Sunday in the kitchen. These are all not going in your freezer and you're going to pop them all out and put them in the slow cooker. Yes, slow cookers are great, but I, will, I don't want them like every single night. Like every night. You do. You want them every night. But so the cooking methods are across the board. The protein is across the board. They have... Um, I just don't like actual cooking, so that's why I really that's why like, you like slow cookers. cookers. <laughs> You're so funny. I will prep to my till I am blue in the face, but you, t you won't put me in front of a stove for three hours. No. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't do that with five minutes to one hour. You're no. only in the kitchen for minutes. Popping it on a sheet pan. But that burnt me out so bad that yeah. I, I want to <laughs> put it in into a skillet underneath the broiler. Air fryer, slow cooker, on the grill, you name it, across the board, they have cooking. So you guys, tell us some of your favorites. Um, oh, they said you look pretty today, Abby. Oh, well, thanks. I literally did nothing to myself today. Somebody said morning, so we must be in a different country for them. We are, morning. Abby's prepping today, but if you guys want to see a cook, I'm going to pin that. There's a tin off. Let me see if I can find it. Use the code 10 off. That's the question. Oh, that was the question? Yes, use the code 10 off to get $10 off. You'll get your first three months for $26. If you pick the classic or the clean eating, mm -hmm. $10 off, and that brings it to $26. That's about $2 a week, guys. $2 a week to be able to go to the website, and you're going to get 60 recipes. Tap on the ones you want to prep ahead. Change the serving size. It's going to tell you how to prep it, how to store it, how to cook it give you your customized grocery list. So everybody's grocery list is going to be different. Mm -hmm. It's going to go exactly off of your prep. So whatever you pick for prepping, your grocery list is going to be perfect with it. No wasted groceries. Mm -hmm. At the end of the week, you're not going to be going to the fridge, tossing out ingredients that you didn't use or your leftovers that you didn't want because you didn't want leftovers. Set your serving size, grab your instant customized grocery mm -hmm. list, and never have to waste groceries again. I love that because I hate hate throwing away groceries. Yeah, nothing irks me more than having to throw away something that I bought. You guys, tell us the last thing that you had to throw away in your fridge. I think mine was spinach. I think mine was green onion. Not that it's expensive, but it still irritates me. I don't want to throw anything away. Yeah. I think mine was spinach. Yes. Because, you know, sometimes when you only have two people eating, the Thanks, smallest Joy. bag is still a huge bag. You're like, oh, I'll just keep the rest and do it for another thing. Yeah. And then by the time you get back to it, it's like liquid. You're like, well, crap. <laughs> Joy said, haha, uh, great way to describe Pinterest. And this is so much better, right? I love this. I'm never going back. Mm -hmm. Spending one hour prepping my dinners for the week and then being able to come home. Pull out my ready-to-go dinners, bypass the drive throughs and the restaurants. It's fantastic. This person also said it's always green onion. <laughs> it's always green onion. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. Uh, let's see. Uh, Donna said crock pot and sheet pan for her. So she is half you, half me. Um, 
Jennifer said broil and sheet pan are her faves too. That's my faves too. Sesame beef stir fry yesterday, so good. Mmm, that sounds we good. We are like on anything like Asian Chinese food. Christy said skillet, sheet pan, and learning to love air fryer meals. Awesome. Sweet and spicy cod mm. is for us tonight. Mmm. I know we've had that one before, too. I love how there's so much variety from Asian to Mexican to steakhouse to Italian. The variety is fantastic. And that's why you see members for five, seven years. Because mm -hmm. the variety, is, it's like there's no need to go anywhere else mm -hmm. when you can go to a website and do everything in a couple minutes. Also, like what I spend on my membership. Well, yes. Yes. Is what I would spend... One time sitting down to eat. Yeah. Uh, what I spend on my membership, I save every single week in my groceries. As in not having to go mm -hmm. through drive throughs or um, restaurants or um, buy stuff and think, okay, I'm going to throw this together. Or look at uh, recipes online mm -hmm. and say, okay, I'm going to make that. And be like, I ain't going to make that. Yeah. If you're spending more than 20 minutes every night coming home, having to dig through your pantry or your fridge, put everything together and then cook it, try this out. Because mm -hmm. this is going to be a game changer for you. You're going to try this for one week. And so many members, after they have their first week and their first prep and their first cooks, they're like, I'm never going back. We see that over and over and over. I wish I could explain it because we're members too. And yes. that happened to us. I came across a video a few years ago. And I was like, oh, she, she knows what she's doing. I'm a hot mess. I'm not a cook. But boy, she did a good job. She just did five dinners. They look delicious. She's popping them in her fridge and mm -hmm. she's good to go for the week. And I was just like, oh, yeah, I can't do that. So I came across the video again the next week, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try it. I did, and I was like, I'm never going back. This is fantastic. One hour a week prepping your dinners, and then the rest of the week you're free. It's like, I'm never going back. Fantastic. Okay, meal number two. <laughs> <laughs> Slow-cooked barbecue pork tenderloin costs $7.00. We'll be having it with some carrots and some beans on cooked doy. And this one's also a sit and forget. Love it. Uh, Betsy said the lemon I zested and never squeezed, LOL. Betsy, I hear you. Uh, Abby zested the lemon the other day, but I put it in my water. So, But I hear you. you those one things that you forget about. And then you're you like, like, seriously, if I would have just looked at this one slot in my refrigerator. Joy said, I'd love to know how they develop the recipes. They are so well done. These writers have been with the company, I want to say, a, a very long time. They know exactly what they're doing. They are great, fantastic. And um, they know how to prep them, how to store them, and how to, good, how to cook them so that you have a good, delicious dinner every night. And my husband is spoiled. He wants a hot new dinner every night. So the old way of meal prepping and cooking everything on the weekend and then just warming it up through the week was not... He did not like that. Um, and he's not really a picky person, but he wants a good, delicious dinner every night. And I get it, and with this system, I can do it with like no stress. Has anybody knows my husband, they're like, oh yeah, he's always calm and easy going, but he does like us to sit at the dinner table as a family and eat every night. That's one thing he, this, he likes to do. This is very true. So you guys tell us in the comments how long does it take you to get dinner on the table every night or is it just a couple minutes to pop it in the oven come back and plate it or are you standing in the kitchen and making it and taking 20 30 minutes making it that is shredded cooked chicken there is a couple different ways that you can do shredded chicken you can put chicken breast in a slow cooker and shred your chicken Jennifer likes to put chicken breast and thighs in the slow cooker and shred it and put both those together. That's her favorite way to have shredded chicken. You can um, go to the deli and get a rotisserie chicken and shred that. Or they even sell packages of shredded chicken at the deli now. Mm -hmm. Or you can go to the frozen section, and the frozen section is where I like to get mine too. I tried it out one time, and then we're like, yeah, that's I awesome. I was like, how many you try this? And then we just don't turn back from it. And that, we get ours in the frozen section. So that's a couple different ways. Tammy said hours. Oh, Tammy. Try this out. Give it a shot. It's only $26 for the first three months. That's about $2 a week. 
and you will be like, this is amazing. A lot of people ask, what do they need to get started prepping meals? It is, you probably already have most of the stuff on hand. You need the website, 5 one hourcom The link is in the bio, or you can just go to the website. I have this stuff already. You need a knife, a cutting board, a pair of scissors, measuring cups, flash spoons, Ziploc bags or containers, whichever you prefer to prep in. Um, there are members that like to prep in only containers. There's members that like to prep in only reusable bags. And I vary. Yeah. Or there's members that just prep in um, regular Ziploc bags. You do you if you want to prep in casserole dishes or if you want to prep in the foil pans. Whatever you want to prep in. So Whatever is doable for you. Yes. A mag not a magic marker. A marker so that you can write on your bags what it is. And then the eat by freeze by date. So all your meat's going to have dates on it. And this is like one of the number one questions asked. Is how do I know how to eat my dinners? Whatever the date is on your package of meat in the store. It's going to be the same date in your refrigerator. So if your um, meatballs, fresh meatballs, are, what is today? The second. The second? So if they're like the ninth. And you come home and you prep with them. They're still going to be good to the ninth. So the dates don't change. Just eat your um, dinners. And then you'll know which dinners to eat in front of each other. This is why you save everything that you can. And then that what is this recipe someone asked? This is uh, Easy Broccoli Chicken Casserole. This is a current classic. And it costs one oh and one dollar. I wish <laughs> nine dollars. This is gonna be fantastic. <laughs> well, nine dollars. Technically, <laughs> technically, I just bought the. You just bought the cheese. I just bought the, the cheese, cheese broccoli. broccoli soup for this, where I already had everything else. And thankfully, mom. Some for some reason we had a half a bag. I had a half a bag of chicken stuffing. So that was like awesome for me. Um, if I choose, oh, hold on, I want to see what's. And I always shred my cheese, and then I keep some here and some in my house. <laughs> so I don't have to do that either. If I choose a, a recipe size of three, am I able to separate it into two cooks, a serving of one and two? You could, yeah. but you'd have to have two baggies there, and yeah. then you would just have to do divvy like, it out. Divvy it out. So you could do that. Yes. It's doable. Yes. Yes. Oh, Joy answered her. Thanks, Joy. Or if you wanted to, you could leave it at three and then cook it and then divide it. However you need to do it. Oh, that is so sweet. I only need two servings, but would like to do one for my grandma. That is the sweetest. Joy, that's you so have cool. a heart on you. Oh, that's hope. Hope. Hope and joy. You guys are just positive people. Oh my goodness, you knocked my sauce over. All right. So that was super sweet. So yes, the serving sizes. You can do from one up into the hundreds. You can pick as many meals as you want to prep. If you want to prep five today and go back tomorrow and prep another mm -hmm. five, you're, you have unlimited access. If you want to prep seven, you can prep seven. Whatever you want to prep. You go to the website, you tap on the dinners you want to prep ahead. It actually says add to my menu. So you just hit that button right underneath the recipes. Mm -hmm. It's going to tell you how to prep it and store it right over here. Super easy instructions. I'm telling you, um, let me pull someone out. The slow cooker ricotta meatball pasta. Add the first five ingredients to a large zipper bag, zip to a seal. Mix the remaining ingredients in a bowl with a lid. That's how easy they make it, guys. Super simple. Anybody can do it. Mm -hmm. They really break it down to the simplest steps so that you can get in and out of the kitchen super fast. Right here in the middle is your ingredient list. To have a fast prep, what we do is right before we prep, we go through here and we pull out those ingredients. Those are your, that's your ingredient list for prep day. For prep day, yes. And we put them in a little tote or section on the counter so that we can just do a fast prep. And you just pull the tote over, throw everything together, and pull the next tote. It makes for a super fast prep. And five dinners in one hour gave us all these tips. So make sure that you're following and you turn on notifications. Hey, I had the ricotta meatball tonight. It was so good. Yes. Nice. I'm excited. It, the picture looked really, really good, so I'm like, 
Just found you. Where's Leva? She just went home with her dad a yes. couple minutes. Ago. Well, it was probably about what, that. right before we started this. Yeah. She went home with Colton, so yeah. she can go bed. Yep. So if you guys um, want to cut down on your grocery bill, if you want to bypass the drive-through, if you want to not have to run to the grocery store a night of mm -hmm. like uh, making your dinner because you have to grab some ingredients, if you want to like get out and have the variety. And get out of that rut of having the same thing over and over. Maybe you just want to know what's for dinner every night and you don't want to be stressed. And you just want to come home and pull out a ready-to-go dinner and pop it in the oven. Try this out. It's going to be a game changer. It's going to cut down your kitchen time. Mm -hmm. Craziness. I was like blown away how much time I had after dinner. Like you mm -hmm. can sit down and enjoy dinner. Look over and not have a hot mess kitchen to clean up. You really only have to wash whatever you cooked in. Mm -hmm. And whatever you eat on. There's not all the big old mess in the kitchen of bowls, cutting board, spoons, measuring cups. All that stuff is only done on prep day. So you really only mess up your kitchen once a week. The rest of the week you can clean up your kitchen in like five minutes. I want to know your favorite Dolly song. <sighs> I don't know. And I do like Dolly, but you guys put me on the spot, the, the spot when I... Jolene. I mean, I like Jolene, but I don't know if that's my favorite. 9 to 5. Oh, 9 to 5. I do like 9 to 5. I like 9 to 5. And I like the... The... I mean, she can sing. So song. pretty much anything she can... She can sing, so... I will always want you. Oh, I will always love you. She sang it before Whitney Houston mm -hmm. sang it. Um, let's see. It's the best. Love this program. Awesome! Thanks for joining us. Joy said, Abby. Hi. Coats of many colors. Yes. That's what it was yeah. like. I was like, it's like a Tickton color coat, but I couldn't remember what the actual, that one's really. So let's give them some fast prepping tips. Hold on. I haven't even told them about my third recipe. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm just like I just want to be here like. I just, I just want them to be able to get this and feel the stress come off and know that all the of those crazy nights that I had when you guys were growing up. I wish I would have found this when you guys were little. I found it when they were like in middle school. I was a senior in high school. But I wish I would have found it when they made it. They made it 13 years ago, but I only came across it five years ago. Yes. And I was just like, man, I wish I would have had this because I was crazy. I was one of those, I was stressed out. I, I, I didn't want to be, you know, that mean mom, like sit down. I'm trying to figure out dinner. Don't ask me yet. But now all the stress is off. Dinners are ready to go. I know it's for dinner. Um, we had the slow cooked fall fridge toast for dinner. It was so yummy. We do. There is no pre diabetic meal plans, but if you were going that way, I would lean more towards clean eating. And there is a Facebook group called Five Days One Hour Community on Facebook, and they're super super helpful when it comes to stuff like that because there are plenty of people that are diabetic. And um, go by certain diets and restrictions that go for there. Like, I really want to prep this, but I don't know what to do or, like, how to tweak it. And they're like, ba -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. So if you are pre-diabetic, I would definitely go with the um, clean eating that's low carb, lots of veggies. But like she said, over on Facebook, type in Five Dinners, One Hour Community. And there are tons of members over there showing you how they use Five Dinners, One Hour, giving you their tips and tricks Showing what they prepped for the week, how much they spent for the week, their dinner plates for the week. I love to see people's dinner plates. But also, if they have picky eaters, if maybe they're gluten-free, dairy-free, gastric sleeve surgery, or they other have other dietary needs, there are members out there that are using this program, and I probably already came across the situation that you might be in. So yes, definitely join that community. Tips and tricks from other members is so fun to see, and I love seeing people's dinner plates. That's my favorite part. Yep. Okay, no number three. <laughs> Easy Broccoli Chicken Casserole. It is a current classic. Um, it costs $9, and we'll be having it with some garlic bread and salad on cook day. This one will be um, on the table, from the refrigerator to the table, in about 25 minutes. So that one's super, super easy. Yes, this is a website that you will log into. That It's in the bio. It's 5dinners1hour.com. You get instant access to 60 recipes. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to prep tonight, you actually could. Uh, whatever you sign up with, that's the same thing that you get into the website with. There is a red like bar tab at the top. It says website tutorial. Tap that. It's going to tell you everything about the website. 
in a, a few minutes and you could actually pick your dinners, shop your pantry, freezer, and refrigerator, uh, run to the grocery store, grocery store, I don't know why that was hard for me to say, and prep tonight if you wanted to. Or you could do the online shopping and pick up your groceries tomorrow and prep tomorrow. But I'm telling you, game changer. If you're even thinking about it, give it a chance. Try it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Try it out for yourself. Yes. Because it is totally worth it. So I'll go back through these. Okay. So, so numero uno <laughs> is slow cooker ricotta meatball pasta. This is $13. <laughs> Cook day, I'm going to need meatballs, spaghetti, my broccoli, and garlic bread, which each calls for like half, so I just kind of split it and then cook, cook it and then the other half. And this one is a sit and forget, so I just come home and plate it and go, mm, delicious. EG117 said, I just joined three weeks ago. It has been life-changing. I wish that I could explain that. I totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. I wish I could explain that. It really is a game changer. Go ahead, Evan. I just had to say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> number two, slow-cooked barbecue pork tenderloin. This one costs $7 on cook day. I'm going to be having some carrots and some beans. Mm. And this one's also a sit and forget, so come home, just plate this bad boy. And I love that you don't have to figure out the sides. All the sides are on mm -hmm. the dinner. So you simply um, go right off the grocery list. They're going to give you that customized grocery list. You can go right off there. And if you want to sub out sides for what you already have, you totally can. Yeah, like if you have cauliflower and it calls for broccoli, or you have asparagus and it calls for broccoli. Switch it out. We, um, what do we normally sub out? We sub out, um asparagus for zucchini because we're yes. not really zucchini i'm not really i am but she likes asparagus more yeah my family likes asparagus more so we do asparagus or broccoli in place of zucchini we always we always sub out zucchini wish we could love it just a texture thing on all sides of for us thanks honey girl y'all meal number three easy broccoli <laughs> chicken casserole <laughs> Uh, this is a current classic. This one costs nine dollars, and on cook day, it is gonna be served with some garlic bread and some salad. Yum! And this one is about twenty five minutes from refrigerator to table. And you know what? She's not in the kitchen for twenty five minutes. She's simply no. popping in the oven, walking away. Heck no! I'm go not. for a walk. Go through your mail. Do walk. a load of laundry. Walk. Read a book. Oh, I do. Yeah, yeah, you like to read books. I know you. So you Perfect. do you. Whatever you want to do. Um, Joy said this system made me a zucchini person, right? We didn't even, I didn't know how to make asparagus at home. And now underneath the broiler is my favorite way to have asparagus. And everybody oh, gobbles it up. You said zucchini and now you just changed to asparagus. No, but she said zucchini. It's made her a zucchini person. The plants oh. made me asparagus person. I love Brussels sprouts. You love, love She don't really like Brussels sprouts, no. but it's made, I was like, I was like, mm, no, Brussels sprouts. But man, oh man, can I use some Brussels sprouts? The ranch Brussels seasoning sprouts. on zucchini is changing. It's life changing, right? How long yeah. does a prep day typically take you? If we're not doing this, we're not talking. Five minutes. I can get all these done in like 10. Yeah. I can get five dinners for six people in like 25 minutes if we're not doing it live with you guys. But if we're doing it live with you guys, I really want to answer any questions you might have. Yeah. And we, when we did the prep with you guys, um, five dinners an hour on live. But um, they say five dinners in a, an hour. You can totally do five dinners an hour. I've been doing this for a while, so I can do five dinners in about 25 minutes. Yeah. And Abby can do them. Uh, she does three, so... Usually 10 minutes. About 10 minutes. It don't take very long. But when we get on here with but you guys. But that's not including like us pulling out the stuff. So like. Add 10 minutes for that. 5 minutes pull yeah. out. 5 minutes put up. Yeah. Yeah. So add. Okay. So I said 25. So make it 35. And make mine 20. Because I do pull out everything. Pull. Out. Let's do the. Let's how to do a fast prep. To do a fast prep. Make sure that you pull out all your ingredients right before you prep. Also. Note that we know that that might sound very fast. We have been doing this for five years. So if you're picking this up today, I would be shocked if you can get with these out in 10 minutes, especially because you're I'd be like, we're to the point where we eyeball a lot of stuff. Most new members can do it in an hour. Yes, that's why. Five years in an hour? Yes. 
So usually 60 minutes or less is what you will be able to accomplish your mm-hmm. first go around. I would say once you're about a month in, you're going you're gonna to keep getting faster. better. It's better. Speeding up and getting better. <laughs> better. You're going to get better, people! <laughs> you're going to get better! <laughs> <laughs> so don't make that, like, I I know that you're like, wow, that's really fast. But I just want to put it out there, like, that, if you can do that your first time, like, Mm-hmm. Props to you, but we have been doing this for five years. We've mm-hmm. got it down to a T. Yep. Um, Let's tell them how we do it. So yeah, that's how we do so, it. So right before we prep, right here is your ingredients. Simply pull out all your ingredients, put them on a certain section on the counter. Separate each ingredient on the, each recipe. This is my section. Who did your section? Each recipe on a counter, or run to the Dollar Tree or do- wherever you want to go. We just go to the dollar tree because we do like dollar in. And we put all of one ingredient in. Ah. Ah, all the ingredients to one recipe in one toast. Yes, that's what we do. And then we line our toast up over here on the counter. There's another counter over here. And we just pull them over, throw it together, grab the next toast, pull it over. Now another thing, open up all your containers. Open up all your cans before you start. Yes. I know that sounds like, why? Well, I can just do that. It's going to save you time. Doing it all at once is so much more than putting your scissors down over here, putting your scissors down over there, putting your can opener. Mm-hmm. I know just it sounds it. crazy. Just do it. Try it out. It'll make it go faster. It makes sense. Also, uh, go for it. If you use toes, and if you don't, you can use it uh, sections of your counter. We like to, as we're prepping, put our frozen slash refrigerator in one tote and our pantries in another tote. So that way when we're done, we literally just take yep. these to where we need to go. So when you finish that prepping of that meal, just shoot them in that, in the totes that are empty. So, Or what? if you have counter space, like there's a bar here, but we just don't throw it up there because we're too short. And then I'll just take this tote over to the pantry and put it up. It takes like a minute. Yeah. And she'll take that one to the fridge and put it up another minute. Super fast put up. Um, another thing. No, we do not chop our veggies prior to separating the ingredients. We do wash. We do wash them, but we don't chop them. No. So that's a good enough thing. Wash all your veggies. But I tend to use, fro- if I can find it frozen, I use it frozen. Yeah, she, she does. I like to grab the fresh. So wash all your veggies before you start. So you're not stopping and washing, stopping and washing. And also put your meats in the containers or the bags that they go to. Like so my pork tenderloin was already in. Yep. Yeah, so you're done with your cutting board for the meats and you're done washing your hands. And then your prep is really just throwing stuff together. You yeah. don't have to stop and wash your hands five times. The only ones that I don't usually cut up and put into a bag beforehand is like sausage and um, like this cooked shredded chicken. Because that's stuff that like I can just like bloop. There are some preppers that love to come from the, home from the grocery store and just wash all their veggies and put them up, but put their veggies up so they already have all their veggies washed. Yeah, we That's, don't live that life. No, but we guys, have a toddler. No, we. I'm her mom. I'm her mom. We don't yes, have a toddler. I have, we have a toddler that runs around. Yes, we do. I have a child. I'm I her have child. A baby. Whatever. Blah 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 blah. Okay, go. So, like, when we get back from doing our grocery runs, it's just not feasible sometimes to be able to no. wash stuff. You guys you just kind of just throw it in there and be like, okay, then the fridge is good, bye, peace. So, I'm a hot mess, but this system makes me organized. It makes me feel good and less stressed about my week. Like, my dinners are ready to go. That's one thing taken off my plate that I don't have to worry about for the rest of the week. And it is fantastic. So, if you're a hot mess like me, you can do this. Mm-hmm. You can do this, and it's going to make you feel great. Man, I wish I could take a nap after I grocery shop. <laughs> that is fantastic. That would be the life. <laughs> oh, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Usually nine times out of ten when I go grocery shopping and when it's not with her. Because uh-huh. usually we go together. Mm-hmm. I'll just, literally, as soon as I get off, I just go, and then that, and then I come home. Yeah, but if I like to get in and out of the store super fast, somebody over here likes to shop for bargains. I'm not about that. I want to get in and hey, out. When there's a bargain, there's a bargain. Like my pasta sauce. Oh my goodness. Sixty three cents. And she will tell. Sixty three cents. She will tell you every time she touches that can of 
pasta sauce, how much she paid for it, and ordered the spaghetti. So I took her since like four months ago, and I didn't even need it at the time, but I knew, I knew she, I was going to need see, it. See, I'm okay with paying the regular prices, because I saved so much money using this yeah. program, but you are very no. frickle over there. I yellow tag it up. I'm a bargain obsessed. Thank you. Love your mother-daughter relationship so sweet. Oh, thank you. You guys, thank you so much for joining. Uh, we'll be on again. Let me see whenever we're going to be on again. This is a good question because... I have it on my calendar at school, but I should probably it. have it on my calendar on my phone. I'm going to be on here Thursday night at 8 o'clock. Abby can join me if she wants. We're going to be doing a dessert or dip. Well, we could do a veggie dip with veggies or we could... Oh, we could do a hot cocoa dip. We could do, um, okay, so we're going to be on Thursday night for dessert at 8 o'clock. And then, um, let's see, Tracy's going to be on Saturday at 8. I'm going to be on Saturday, Sunday at 8, and Abby's going to be on Monday at 8. So, Thursday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, and Monday night. So, you guys, make sure that you are following and you turn on your notifications, notifications. so you can see other members come on here. And We are um, Central Standard Time. Yes. So if you want to try it out and get your customized grocery list, be able to pick your dinner's recipes. Oh yeah, I didn't even tell you guys. I only had to buy three items. Yeah, she, after she shopped pantry, freezer, and refrigerator, only three items. Isn't that fantastic? Because I bargain shop. Yes. <laughs> nope. No, like the bargain shop. You're going to be um, surprised how much you probably already have on hand. Yes. If you're brand new to like cooking and stuff, you might have to... Buy but spices. once you get a lot of those pantry staples, yeah, you'll be fine. It's going to yeah. be like, oh, I don't have to buy all that. Yeah. So you'll be surprised how much you probably already have on hand. The most of the time that I'm purchasing is probably my proteins mm -hmm. and um, my veggies. That's mostly what's on my grocery list after I shop my pantry, freezer, and refrigerator. This is true. You guys, thank you so much for joining. Try it out for your family. Don't take our word. It's only about $2 a week, $26 for the first three yeah. months. And it is worth every single penny. You're going to save that every single week. Because I do. I know that you will too. Bye, guys. Thanks for joining us. See you soon.